Mr. Trump shook up his transition team today. Mike Pence takes the helm. Chris Christie takes a seat outside the inner circle. Here's Major Garrett. Naming Vice President-elect Mike Pence to the top transition post is designed to reassure congressional Republicans. Pence served six terms in the House and was a prominent member of the Republican Governors Association, giving him nationwide GOP ties that could calm skeptics of Mr. Trump's anti-establishment agenda. To all Republicans and Democrats and independents across this nation, I say it is time for us to come together as one united people. Pence replaces New Jersey Governor Chris Christie, who reluctantly accepted a demotion. Mr. Trump also added his three children and son-in-law Jared Kushner, along with Republican National Committee Chairman Reince Priebus, who is making a strong play for White House Chief of Staff. But Reince is a superstar. Bro. Pence will make all final cabinet secretary recommendations to the president-elect. Some top contenders, like Rudy Giuliani for attorney general, may spark alarm given his incendiary campaign rhetoric. Maybe, here's the simple fact, they're crooks. Others, like Texas Congressman Jeb Henschelling for Treasury Secretary, would appear slightly more conventional. Former Bush-era ambassador to the United Nations John Bolton is vying for Secretary of State or National Security Advisor, along with retired Lieutenant General Michael Flynn. And Alabama Senator Jeff Sessions is the leading candidate for Defense Secretary. I very much look forward to dealing with the president in the future. Mr. Trump has stressed unity in his public appearances since the election, but he sent conflicting messages on Twitter. He decried those demonstrating against his election as professional protesters incited by the media and said they were very unfair. Nine hours later, Mr. Trump reversed himself, writing, Love the fact that the small groups of protesters last night have passion for our great country. We will all come together and be proud. Mr. Trump may soften the blow of Christie's demotion with a position such as Secretary of Homeland Security or Attorney General. Scott, Mr. Trump's transition team is behind schedule because during the campaign he refused to discuss their work or raise the money for the needed staff. Major Garrett at the White House for us tonight. Major, thank you.